Welcome everyone. I wanted to take a few minutes to share with all of you this new template that actually has been augmented and revised since we first created it for the Indiana Department of Education as we really looked at how applied educational neuroscience can blend so well with the multi-tiered systems of support. So I want just to take a couple of minutes and walk you through this template. This will be available to schools, to districts, to individuals. We just want it out there so that we can address um, response to intervention and instruction in the four key areas of the multi-tiered systems of support. So I'm gonna share my screen and pull this up. And so uh, let me move this so that you can see this, okay. So what we are sharing here, um, you can see there is a really nice partnership right in the center addressing whole educator and whole child. So in this MTSS uh, template and protocol, it's not just about our students. It really is addressing um, staff educators, um, support staff, I mean, really all of us. And as a parent, I this really is relevant for families and communities. So in the traditional MTSS, we know that we have these four areas. We have academic response to intervention, instruction. We have the social and emotional response to um, instruction. And um, I also think about social, social and emotional as the neuroeducation of the nervous system. And then we have community. So these are resources and supports as we um, continue to build this. This is dynamic. This is never going to be completed. We're going to continually add and augment resources to this template. And then the fourth area is really looking at discipline through a very distinct lens, and we're calling that nervous system relational discipline. And again, as much for parents as it is for adults. So in each of these areas, um, we, when, you, uh, when you link on to these, you will be sent to resources. And um, so I'll just show a couple of these. And, um, and then again, it's never going to be finished, but under trust, so let's start with the neuroeducation of the nervous system, which is social and emotional learning. So we look at trust, regulation, attachment, and connection and safety. And so I'm just going to click on what do you need. And so you are, um, you, we've provided um, the resources that you can use at home, in the classroom, one-on-one, -on -one, small group, whole class. But we're really meeting our students and our own children and adolescents where they are in their nervous system development. So, and, and really not even going for calm. This is really looking at, you know, am I feeling steady? Um, am I struggling? Am I overwhelmed? And so you can see that these autonomic states blend together. So as we have provided strategies, then there's just not one absolute area that you know, we give lots and lots of choices. So that is one um, aspect of this. Let me go to, um, oh, I have to show you this one, accommodations. So this is really looking, um, this has been revised and augmented. We had a lot of fun doing this. So this is really looking at accommodations through an ACEs lens because many of our children and adolescents come to school, they don't have a 504 or an IEP for support, but they do need accommodations. They do need the assistance, the enhancement of connection, and also, um, you know, looking at how we begin to really tap into their positive identity development and resiliency. So this is just a document that takes you through what this is, how it's integrated into what you're already doing, and then comparing traditional accommodations to accommodations through an ACEs lens. So these are just specific examples, suggestions of what that might look like if a child needs 
um, <clears throat> excuse me, safety, you know, feeling safe, feeling felt, um, validated, and how we can change and be consistent. So this would be for all educators and support staff who touch this child throughout the day. Can we provide predictability and consistency in these accommodations? So I'm gonna go back again to another section of this. And um, let's go to, um, let me show you up here. The academic RTI piece of this through applied educational neuroscience is really looking at how we are meeting our kids where they are. And so these are filled with surveys and some focused attention practices, energizing and also calming ones. So um, let me see what happens here. So these are, yep, these are the 100 focused attention practices that we've continued to add to. So um, this is just, again, modify, augment, make it your own. And then over on, and then there are surveys in here. And then over here in the relational nervous system discipline protocol piece, um, I'm gonna click on discipline through the nervous system. And you can see that we have added the six misunderstandings of discipline. For example, oftentimes co-regulation is criticized for rewarding negative behavior. So we have addressed the top six misunderstandings um, that we as parents often experience or we as educators often experience. And another, I wanted to show you the discipline ladder. So this is really looking at how um, we begin to build practices into our procedures and routines, paying attention to the adult nervous system. So we just, the, the ladder moves from the bottom to the top, but it also zigzags. We also fall off the ladder. We climb back up two steps. We might go down one, we might go across three. I mean, it's just chaotic, it's not linear, but it's moving through this new lens of discipline which is what my Connections Over Compliance, the, my latest book um, that is out talks about, but I've added to this in the new book, which is out in January. So one more section I'll take you through. And that is looking at the community piece of this. So this will, we've got parent touch points. It's a little survey. Um, we've got a section on addiction and recovery. My former graduate student, I'll, um, share this with you. She wrote this, Kristen Cooper, who's in Chicago, she just wrote this incredible piece on applied educational neuroscience um, and integrating that into um, her spiritual and church work. So when we think about the community, it's all of us who touch a child. And so this really, you can see, she just kind of shares um, what her objectives are, looking at the mental health ministry in the church, um, really comparing and contrasting the four pillars of applied educational neuroscience um, to the possibilities within a community, a, a spiritual or church community center. And so I think that will um, be interesting to you. We also have the racially and culturally inclusive touch points. We understand deeply right now that our black and brown students and special education students are being over identified and disproportionately um, punished throughout our discipline protocols and throughout this nation. And this is nothing new, but it's really beginning to understand how we can address this fluidly and, and integrating this through procedures, transitions, exits, routines, morning meetings, um, it's just, you know, it's really about creating um, a culture of community and compassionate presence as we sit beside our students. So I wanted to share that with you. I'll stop right now. But there are so many resources, um, lots of options, and many of these are on the website, but we wanted to hold them in a place where you could access them, share them with your colleagues, 
And um, yeah, we're just really excited to roll this out. And, um, and again, it will be available on the website, um, I think soon. So just keep checking at revelationsineducation.com.